Hello. So we are going to upload a new code to the robot. So first things first, we have to make sure that the microcontroller is recognized by your computer. So this is the microcontroller. I'll connect it to the computer using the mini USB cable. So let's check under tools. We should see there the port. So which port should we select if there are several ports listed here? So let me just remove it again. And let's check again. So there's no port listed here. So if there are several, the new one that will appear later is the one that you should select. So I'll connect. And as you can see, the new one is COM6. It may be COM3, COM1, COM4. It depends on your computer. But the new one that will appear in the list is the one that you should select. So let's just assume that your computer does not recognize the microcontroller. If that is the case, assuming that there is no problem with the microcontroller or the cable, you need to install the driver. The driver is additional software that will allow your computer to recognize or to know how to access or go about the hardware, which is in this case, our microcontroller. So let's use google.com and search. The name of the driver is CH340. So the keyword will be CH340 driver. But there is actually a latest driver, which is CH341. So let's search for that instead. I'll press enter. And this is actually the website of the manufacturer of the chip that enables the computer to recognize the, uh, the board. So let's open the website. and download the driver that is meant for your operating system. So this one, is for Windows. This one is for Linux and this one is for Mac. In case you are going to search for the old driver, let's say CH340. That will be your keyword. You can click this or click the second one. and select the driver that corresponds to your operating system. There. So those are your options. If you are searching for the old driver, which is CH340, so just download and install. And assuming you have installed the driver, and assuming that your computer recognizes the microcontroller, and you will see here the port, make sure that you will select Arduino Nano for your board. And the default processor is 80 mega 328p. And in this case, we have here a blank program, which we will try to upload. So I'll click upload. So there's no error. It's trying to upload already. It's taking some time. And that's a, an indication that there's a problem with the microcontroller or maybe it has a different setup. So let's try changing it to the old bootloader.
So change the processor from 80 mega T to 8P to 80 mega T to 8P old bootloader. Let's try that and let's upload again. Let's try again. And still, there's an error. So even, even if I put it back to the old processor, to the default option, it will still not upload. So what is the problem? Most likely, the problem is with the microcontroller. You may have to replace your microcontroller with a new one. But make sure that when you replace it, get the one that is soldered already. Or you can also try and find out if the problem is the cable. In this case, I have another cable, which I can try, or another one. But most likely, the problem here is the microcontroller. I'm going, I'm going to connect the PC to the robot, which has a working microcontroller board. And it's currently running, powered by the USB port, 5 volts. And clearly, there's a code currently loaded to the robot. And if we will upload a new code, it will erase the old one. And in this case, let's check our options or our setting. So we have the default setting. Again, the board should be nano. The processor, that's the default setting. And the port is correct because we only have one option here. And that came out after we have connected the robot. So let's check again. I'll disconnect. I'll check. So there's no port. I'll connect. And that's the one. So I'll upload the uh, blank program, which should make everything stop. In this case, the uh, LED is blinking because of the code that is currently loaded to the robot. Take note that only one code or one program can be saved on the robot. So upload the new one will erase the old one. In this case, we'll upload an empty program or sketch as they call it in Arduino. Did it work? It seems that it's not working. So let's change the setting. So it's still trying to upload. So while it's trying, let's change the setting. Use the old bootloader, that might be it. And let's try upload again. Okay, that message is actually from the first one. And the second upload or second try is actually uh, a success. So just to be sure, let's do it again. And we should see done uploading. And as you can see, since it, this is a blank program, nothing should be happening. And the blinking has stopped because the robot or the microcontroller is not supposed to be any, uh, doing anything as shown or as, yeah, as shown in this sketch. And that's it. This is how you upload a new code to your robot.